Welcome to Lesson 3.4 Screencast. Today we are going to take a look at the essential question, how can you use place value and partial products to multiply two-digit numbers? For many of you, this should be review. We've already looked at two-digit numbers during Chapter 2. We're just going to give you another way in case the traditional method does not work for you. So, one way that you can multiply two-digit by two-digit numbers is to use the partial products method, which we did look at in Chapter 2. So if we jump down here to unlock the problem, it says the connection is you know how to break apart a model to find partial products. How can you use what you know to find and record a product? So our problem here in the unlock the problem section is 34 times 57. We are first going to estimate, and our estimate is 30 and 60. So we know that with estimation, if we take the first number, we look next door, if it's five or more, we're going to go up. If it's less than five, our number stays the same. So hence the reason we came up with the 30. Okay. Same being said with the 57. Five, we look next door. Five or more, we're going to go up. Less than five, we're going to stay the same. This is greater, seven is greater than five, so this number becomes 60. Then using our mental math, we can take three times six. We know that's 18. Okay, and then we have two zeros represented in the original problem. So then we add our two zeros, it becomes 1800. Okay, so that's our estimate. Now, if we jump down here to actually solving the problem, we're going to take the partial products method and we're going to break it into steps. Okay, step one says to shade the model, and we are representing the five times three. So the five times the three. So we're gonna shade this large box here, okay? And we know that the 30 times five is 150 tens. So we have 150 tens, 150 tens. And then we have two places that we're representing, or one place, I'm sorry, behind the 150 that we're representing, because it's in the tens place. We have to fill in the zero for our ones place, okay? Step two says to multiply the ones by the tens. So the ones by the tens, the sevens in the ones place, the thirties the tens place. So we have the 30 times the seven, and we know that 30 times seven using mental math, three times seven is 21 plus the zero is going to be 210. So we're going to fill in 210 right there. 30 times 7, 210. Okay? Step 3, we're going to multiply the tens by the ones. So we're going to start with, we're going to multiply the 4. So this is the area we're going to shade, the 4. And we're going to multiply it by the 5. 5 tens. So this is 50. 5 tens represents 50. So 4 times 5 tens equals 20 tens. So if we tw have 20 tens, we know that 20 tens is actually 200. So we're going to write that as 200. Okay? And our last step of unlock the problem, step 4, we are going to multiply the ones by the ones. So 4 times 7 ones equals 28. So 4, I'm sorry, wrong box. 4 times 7 ones, this box here, 4 times 7 ones is 28. Okay? Once we have our partial products, then we will add to get our total. So it was 0 plus 8 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus another 2 is 9, and then 1 plus 0 is 1. So we know our answer, 1,938. So 34 times 57 equals 1,938. Since 1,938 is close to the estimate of 1,800, it is reasonable. Okay, after you have completed Unlock the Problem, you need to move on to page 164. And we are actually going to go through another example together. 
So on this page, there is a second example. At the top, it says the apples from each tree in an orchard can fill 23 bushel baskets. If one row of the orchard has 48 trees, how many baskets of apples can be filled? Okay. Just like we did on the previous problem, we first want to estimate. We know that we're going to take 48, and it's going to become 50. And we're going to take 23, and it's going to become 20. Using mental math, we know that 5 times 2 is 10. And then we have two zeros represented in the original problem. So our estimate is going to be 1,000. Okay? Now, they want you to think, and they want you to record. So you're going to be thinking about the steps we just did on the previous problem and recording the answers that you get for each of those. So our first step is to multiply the tens by the tens. So we're going to multiply the tens by the tens. So we have four tens times two tens is going to be 800. Okay? So 40 times two tens equals 80 tens or 800. Okay. Step two, multiply the ones by the tens. Ones by the tens. So 40 times three ones. So mental math, four times three is 12. Your additional zero. So 120 ones. So this is going to be 120. Step three, multiply the tens by the ones. Tens, sorry, tens by the ones. So two tens times eight ones. So we have eight times two tens. We know that two times eight is 16. And, but it's a 10, so we need that zero. So this is 160. And then step four, multiply the ones by the ones. So eight times three. So eight times three ones is 24 ones put our 24 here. We're going to add 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 plus 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10. So we get 1,000. I'm sorry, I've made a mistake somewhere in my adding. So 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2. That's where I messed up. I forgot the other 2. So it's going to be 0, carry my 1, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it should be 1,104. So 1,104 baskets can be filled. If you remember back to the original question, it wanted us to find how many baskets of apples can be filled. Okay, and then our clues that we used were 23 bushels per 48 trees. So hence the reason we did 23 times 48. And then if we double check for reasonableness, we look back up and we can see that 1,104 is close to the estimate of 1,000. So that is a reasonable answer. Okay, I would like you to continue on to share and show. You are going to complete numbers 1 which is on page 164, flip over to page 165, and you have number four and number five to complete, okay? This section of your workbook, you are using partial products. So remember to think and record each step.